All right, superhero fans, buckle up because we're diving into what it's really like to work with the stars who bring your favorite heroes to life. From legendary moments to unexpected surprises, here's what co-stars and colleagues have said about them. This usually works. Well, performance issues, you know, it's not uncommon. One out of five. When it comes to superheroes, Robert Downey Jr. is basically the godfather of the MCU. And guess what? He's just as impressive off screen as he is when he's suited up as Iron Man. Tom Holland, who played Spider-Man and got his big break alongside RDJ, shared that working with him was unforgettable. Robert Downey Jr., the legend, one of my favorite people I've ever met, Holland said. But it's not all serious acting tips and deep chats. RDJ is known for his quick wit and comedic timing that even his co-stars can't match. Holland confessed, if you come up with something really funny to say as an ad lib, he will always out funny you. But beyond the jokes, RDJ was the ultimate professional knowing everyone's name and making sure to lead by example. He is number one. He is the leader of the MCU, Holland added. That's how you set the bar in Hollywood. What kind of monster are you? The Wolverine. Next up, we have Hugh Jackman, everyone's favorite Wolverine. The man is known for being as friendly as they come, and his co-stars couldn't agree more. Vanessa Kirby, who worked with him on The Sun, said he's everything you hope he'd be, and more. She shared, he's a delight. He's so fun. He's too fun. He's magic. And if you think he's just a nice guy to fans, it turns out he's the same way behind the scenes. During the pandemic, Jackman kept the set feeling like a family bubble, making everyone feel at home. In a world where egos can run wild, Hugh stays grounded, proving that nice guys really do win. I'm still worthy. While he might look like he was chiseled out of marble, his co-stars say he's genuinely down to earth. Golshifte Farahani, who worked with Hemsworth on Extraction, described him as one of the most present actors she's met. He's very present, she said, noting that while most actors retreat to their phones between scenes, Hemsworth engages with the people around him. And get this, Farahani had a bad allergic reaction on set and was feeling faint. Who comes to the rescue? Thor, obviously. Hemsworth noticed she was struggling and offered her his special smoothie to help her recover. As Farahani put it, that smoothie, I will never ever forget the taste of that smoothie. Also, he's really gorgeous and super tall. Yep, Chris really is the superhero we all wish he'd be. Captain America. Mr. Lang. <laughs> it's an honor. I'm shaking your hand too long. Ah. Is there anyone more likable than Paul Rudd? Not according to his Ant-Man co-star, Michael Douglas. Douglas, who played Hank Pym, had nothing but great things to say about Rudd, calling him a sweetheart and saying that he's exactly as nice as fans imagine. He's just a great, great guy, so it sets the tone, Douglas said. But that's not all. Rudd is known for his incredible ad-lib skills, which often catch his co-stars off guard. Douglas admitted that it's hard not to break character around him, saying, I'm a little jealous of Paul because I'm kind of carrying the storyline and having to go home to research what the hell I'm talking about. And Paul will just come in with some one-liner and steal the scene. Sounds like Rudd brings a touch of comedy gold to every set he's on. Any of this happened and don't you ever, ever interfere with my business again. Let's take it back to one of the original big screen superheroes, Michael Keaton. While he might be best known for his role as Batman, he played the villain Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming. And apparently Keaton couldn't resist a little bat humor. Tom Holland shared a hilarious moment when Keaton in character as the Vulture reminded him who the OG hero was. I lay him down on the sand and he says, why did you save me? And I'm like, because I'm Spider-Man. And then he goes, but I'm Batman. Holland said he'll never forget it, but Keaton isn't all jokes. Holland described working with him as intense and nerve wracking, especially during their car scene, which was shot over an entire day. As soon as cut was called, Keaton was back to being friendly and chatty, but during action, he was the ultimate villain. Talk about range. Are you sure you shouldn't do something about the bridge? What bridge? For all the nostalgic superhero fans out there, Christopher Reeve will always be the first Superman. His Superman 3 co-star, Annette O'Toole, revealed that he was as wonderful in real life as you'd hope. He was fantastic. He was so kind, O'Toole shared. And he wasn't just nice on set. Reeve went out of his way to make O'Toole feel welcome, inviting her over for dinner and even taking her to a Simon and Garfunkel concert at Wembley Stadium. It's unusual finding a good looking girl like you alone like this. But the first time she saw him in full Superman gear, total chills. It was like looking up a mountain, O'Toole recalled, adding that he transformed into Superman so fully that it felt like a completely different person. Talk about embodying a character. Oh. 
Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. It wouldn't be a superhero list without Ryan Reynolds, would it? Known for his role as Deadpool, Reynolds is loved by fans and co-stars alike. Director Sean Levy, who worked with him on Free Guy and The Atom Project, had nothing but high praise. I love Ryan on screen. I think he's one of the truly great and last movie stars, Levy said. And Reynolds isn't just a funny guy who shows up and cracks jokes. He's deeply involved in every part of the process, from the script to the music and editing. We're not just director and star, we're fellow producers. It feels like an all-around and quite profound creative brotherhood, Levy explained. It's no wonder Reynolds is so beloved. He's all in every time. I never yielded! And as you can see, I am not dead! The late, great Chadwick Boseman was a true superhero, on and off the screen. Denzel Washington, who worked with him on Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, spoke highly of Boseman's professionalism, especially since nobody knew he was sick during filming. He suffered quietly. He made the movie, and nobody knew. I didn't know, Washington said. Bozeman's strength and dedication were unmatched, and he never let his personal battle affect his work. Good for him, keeping it to himself, Washington added. Bozeman's legacy is one of quiet resilience, making him not just a hero in the movies, but in real life too. You're gorgeous and fierce and strong and mm. And you know what? I don't want to die. Now let's talk about Jason Momoa. While his co-stars usually have positive things to say about him, one story adds a different twist. YouTuber and streamer Valkyri shared that her experience with Momoa on the set of a Minecraft movie was not what she expected. I just saw him like mistreat some of the crew and it was pretty disappointing, she said. Valkyrie explained that it was after a particularly intense scene and maybe Momoa was still in character. He was just really mad and yelling, she recalled, adding that it made for a tough work environment. It's a reminder that even our favorite stars have their moments, especially when they're deep in a role. You look good to me, ain't she or so heavenly? I, you're the one I idolize. Finally, we've got Patrick Stewart, aka Professor X. Alison Pill, who worked with him on Star Trek Picard, described him as not just an incredible actor, but an amazing storyteller. He tells incredible stories, she said, adding that for theater nerds, listening to Stewart is like hitting the jackpot. With his decades of experience in Shakespeare and other stage performances, Stewart brought a unique energy to the set. He's a pretty amazing man, Pill added, and we couldn't agree more. It's fun to wander through the alphabet with you. So there you have it. From the actors who light up the set with their kindness to those who take their roles a bit too seriously, the superhero universe is full of surprises. Which behind the scenes story caught your attention the most? Drop it in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more such content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I am Iron Man. <laughs>